Welcome to the hardware review of the MonsterTech MFC Flight Chair Series. In this review, we will go into detail about a MonsterTech Flight Chair Office and Gaming Chair from the MFC Series. With some special features like the optional roller and rotation brake, as well as a cutout for the central peripheral mount, the MFC Chair offers the possibility to turn it into the optimal base for a simulation setup. The hardware was made available to us free of charge by our partner MonsterTech, but without any influence or specifications. It is therefore our own free opinion. And of course, you can find more ways to attach your peripherals to an existing chair or table here in the channel, as always in German or English. This review has a modular structure and you can use the timestamps in the video to jump to the parts that interest you or which you would like to see again. But first of all, a big thank you to the real ladies and gentlemen who make this video possible with their support as Patreons, channel members or Twitch subscribers. Thank you! We start with the unboxing, whereby the delivery reached us safely packed and without any damage. We decided on the MFC5 Night Falcon flight chair, which is available in the unbreak version at $799 or euros and for $899 or euros, as shown here, in the roller and rotation brake version. The most affordable version of the MFC series compares at $699, with the MFC3 and higher having a cover made of certified Cordura 1000D mil spec fabric. This specially coated material is made of high-strength, air-jet-structured nylon and is extremely robust, yet remains soft and flexible. It offers several advantages over most fabric covers, such as increased break and tear resistance, is water-repellent and therefore meets US military standards. The assembly of the MFC, which is completely handmade and manufactured in Germany, takes about 20 to 30 minutes, whereby the necessary Allen spanners as well as the Phillips screwdriver are not included in the scope of delivery. The necessary screws are already attached and must be first removed. We can then attach the chair mechanism under the seat, whereby we have to move the chair mechanism backwards in order to be able to use the front screw connections. After fixing the chair mechanism with four screws, we can attach the 4D armrests to the side. To do this, we need an Allen key and screw the chair backrests with the supports facing forwards in the direction of the chair rackers. As a hind, all screws come with washers, which we have to remove first and which can get caught in the fabric cover in case of doubt. As a tip, the middle end screw on the chair armrest itself can also be slightly tightened to increase the fixation of the armrest. The backrest can then be attached, whereby we first remove the screws and slide the backrest between the seat and the chair mechanism in order to screw it in place. As a tip here, since the backrest is height adjustable in 6 steps, it can adjust itself when you attach it. We will go into more detail about how you can adjust the backrest in the adjustment options. And with the cover in place, we come to the second part, the fiberglass reinforced base, as well as the optional lockable smooth running casters for all floor coverings. These are simply inserted into the base, after which we insert the gas pressure spring. In the rotation brake version, there is no extra plastic cover, as we use the screw connection on the gas pressure spring directly to fix the rotation. And with the insertion of the seat surface with attached backrest on the gas pressure spring, the assembly of our MonsterTech MFC5 and the brake version is complete. But let's take a closer look at the processing and material quality, as well as the functions of the MFC. The workmanship of the seams is excellent in every area. With a Cordura fabric promising durability and abrasion resistance due to its properties. 
The feel of the cover is reminiscent of sports seats from the automotive sector. The seat feels rather firm but comfortable, and even after sitting for a long time, the seat surface does not heat up. We did not notice any sweating in the area of the seat or on the backrest, even at higher room temperatures. A novelty is the recess in the seat surface for later attachment of a joystick or other peripheral devices. Here, there is an optional possibility of using a corresponding cutout insert with quick release fasteners, when not in use as a simulation chair, in order to convert the MFC into a pure gaming or office chair. The MFC is of course height adjustable, has a synchronous mechanism for the seat and backrest, whereby the backrest can be fixed in 5 positions and adjusted in height in 6 positions. The seat depth can also be varied and the upholstered 4D armrests offer all options. And in the brake version shown here, all easy roll casters can be locked and the rotation of the chair itself can be prevented. So optimal for the use of pedals or joysticks attached to the chair. The seat width is 47 cm, the seat depth 44, whereby we can adjust 5 cm. Thus all sitting positions up to cross-legged sitting can be used. The easy adjustable backrest offers a height between 72 and 80 cm, whereby the integrated headrest makes an additional cushion obsolete. The maximum load of the MFC is 150 kg, which can confirm the solid design of the chair as well as the quality impressions in any case. Thanks to the materials use and the high quality of workmanship, the MonsterTech MFC is definitely in the upper class of gaming chairs. In addition to the cutout for the stick, the brick version has some exciting additional features, which we will now discuss. For mounting our VKB Gunfighter Mark III joystick in the Space Combat Premium Edition, we use the MonsterTech Center joystick chair mount set which is priced at around 249 euros or 229 dollars. The comprehensive set is equipped for a wide variety of combinations and a wide variety of chairs. All through in our case, due to a VKB joystick extension, we only use the anchorage on the seat, as well as the quick release for the joystick holder itself. In addition, we use the chair holders for the sides, for which the NFC is also already prepared. Depending on the joystick or peripheral device, we attach the mounting plate for it to the quick-release plate, which is inserted into the mount of the chair. The quick-release fasteners makes it possible to attach and detach the entire setup quickly and easily. Alternatively, with the MonsterTech center set, it is also possible to use a chair without a recess to center a joystick. The advantage of the MFC series, however, is that we can realize a direct connection option with a little material input. We have therefore opted for the minimum configuration and use a joystick extension for our VKB Gunfighter. We also use our VKB Gladiator NXT EVO as a thrust controller via the chair mount on the left side. Details can be found in the MonsterTech chair mount review where you can also find the attachment to other chairs. For an unproblematic cable management, we recommend an optionally available cable management set, which consists an extra thin USB 3 hub, a 1.8 meter long USB 3 cable and 4 cable clips for cable management. This way, we only have one connection cable from the chair to the computer. And yes, I still have to do some fine-tuning for a nicer look. In summary, the MonsterTech MFC flight chair offers far more than just the possibility of optimally attaching a simulation setup. The Cordura cover promises a long service life and, thanks to its robust properties, is in a way inferior to other fabric covers in terms of seating comfort. In general, the seating comfort is at a very high level, which also enables pleasant use for the MFC for several hours. The high degree of adaptability, thanks to the main adjustable seat and backrest area, enables an optimal configuration. In addition, the chair is handcrafted, which also makes a wide variety of adjustments or special customer requests possible. 
Therefore, the MFC Fly Chair by Monster Tech definitely belongs to the premium category of gaming chairs. However, this high level of quality and customization also has its price, after we have to invest about $900 or euros in the braked MFC5 variant shown here. In addition, chair mounts are necessary for about $300 or euros to realize a joystick and how to set up on a chair. 